use Home Assistant as a hub for your home devices, what's the best way to access it when you're away from home? In this short video, I'll walk through how to set up simple, secure, and free remote access to Home Assistant in just a couple of minutes using TwinGate. If you haven't already, go to TwinGate.com and sign up for a free starter account. You can use your Google, GitHub, or other existing accounts to sign up. Click through a few steps to complete the sign-up process, and you should see a home screen like this one. The first thing we'll do is to add a remote network, which is where we want to connect to. For work or hobby projects, we support AWS, GCP, and others. In this case, we'll choose Other in the drop-down menu and give it a name like Home Network. The remote network will be created, including two automatically generated connectors with random names. Connectors are pieces of software that we install on the remote network in order to enable remote access. Choose one of the connectors and click on Deploy Connector. This will take you to the connector's configuration page. Connectors can be deployed in a variety of ways. In this example, I am running Ubuntu on my Raspberry Pi and installed Home Assistant via a Docker container. I will choose to install the connector via Docker as well, but you can also choose the Linux option and install it directly on the OS. The next step is to generate tokens. Click the button, which will prompt you to re-authenticate using the account you used to sign up for TwinGate. After authenticating, you'll come back to the connector configuration page and see a couple of tokens have been generated. Scroll down to step four and copy the command that was automatically generated. We'll need to run this to deploy the connector. Open up a terminal window. We can quickly check that Home Assistant is running. Paste in the command you copied and run it. You may need to add sudo at the beginning and enter your password. After just a few seconds, the deployment will complete and we can confirm that the TwinGate connector is now running. Go back to the connector configuration page and you should also see that the status has changed to connected with green dots indicating that the connector has been successfully deployed. The last step is to go back to your home network and add Home Assistant as a resource. Resources are things like Home Assistant or Plex Media Server that you're running on your home network and need access to. Click on Add Resource and CIDR. Give it a name like Home Assistant and enter the private IP address of the device that's running Home Assistant. In my case, it's my Raspberry Pi. You can find this private IP address, for example, by running the ifconfig command. Note that this is not the public IP address that your ISP has assigned to you, which may change over time. It's the private IP address of your net device within your own home network, which likely starts with 10 dot something or 172 dot something or 192 dot 168 dot something. Since Home Assistant runs on port 8123, we'll add that as a port restriction. On the next screen, we can choose who gets access to Home Assistant. In this example, we'll give everyone access to it, but you can also add more granular control. For example, only you get access to Home Assistant, but everyone in your family gets access to your Plex Media Server. That's it for setting up remote access. The only thing left to do now is to download the TwinGate client app. We have apps for Mac, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. I'll show how it works on an iPhone, but the steps are similar for the other platforms. After downloading and opening the TwinGate app, you'll be prompted to enter the network name. This is the name you chose when you signed up. The app will find your account, then tap the button to sign in and follow the prompts to log in using the account you use when you signed up. In my case, that was Google. After logging in, you'll see your home network and the resources you set up. And that's it. No other configuration required. Open up your browser and go to Home Assistant. I'm on my phone cellular data plan, not connected to my home network, but through TwinGate, I can access my Home Assistant just as if I were home. After setting up my connector once, it's really easy to enable remote access to anything else running on my device. I also run a Plex Media Server, and all I need to do is add it as another resource with port 32400, and now I have remote access to Plex from anywhere as well. Besides Home Assistant and Plex, there are many other use cases. Join us at forum.twingate.com to share and discuss with our community.